Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss the topic of inverse hyperbolic functions. First we see what are inverse hyperbolic functions, then we will see examples based on it. So let us see definition of inverse hyperbolic functions. Guys, there is no formal definition for inverse hyperbolic function, but we say that inverse hyperbolic functions are inverse functions of hyperbolic functions. They are denoted by sin h inverse z, cos h inverse z, tan h inverse z, etc. etc. To understand this, note that if z is equal to sin h of x, then we say that x is sin h inverse of z. You may remember that this definition of inverse hyperbolic functions is exactly similar to the way we defined inverse trigonometric functions. Now let me show you some real examples on inverse hyperbolic functions. Here in this example, we are asked to prove that sin h inverse of x is equal to log of x plus under root of x square plus 1. Let us see solution or proof of this statement. Consider z is equal to sin h inverse of x. Then taking sin h inverse on the other side, we get x is equal to sin h of z. Its exponential form is e raised to z minus e raised to minus z upon 2. Then further simplification will give us 2x is equal to e raised to z minus e raised to minus z can be written as 1 upon e raised to z. Then cross multiplying e raised to z, we get 2x into e raised to z is equal to e raised to 2z minus 1. The rearrangement of the terms will give us a quadratic equation in e raised to z. Here coefficient a is 1, b is minus 2x and c is minus 1. Then root of this equation is given by e raised to z is equal to 2x that is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. I hope you remember this formula. Now further simplification will give us e raised to z is equal to x plus minus under root x square plus 1. Here note that under root of x square plus 1 is always greater than x. Therefore x minus under root of x square plus 1 is a negative value. And e raised to z never takes negative value. Therefore we discard x minus under root of x square plus 1. And we say that e raised to z is equal to x plus under root of x square plus 1. Therefore, z is equal to log of x plus under root of x square plus 1. And z is sin h inverse of x. So finally, we say that sin h inverse of x is equal to log of x plus under root of x square plus 1. Hence, we can say that this statement is proved. Now, let us go ahead with example number 2. Here, we are asked to prove that cos h inverse x is equal to log of x plus under root of x square minus 1. Let us see its proof. Consider y is equal to cos h inverse x. Therefore, x is equal to cos h y. Exponential form of cos h y is e raised to y plus e raised to minus y upon 2. Cross multiplying this, we get 2x is equal to e raised to y plus e raised to minus y e raised to minus y can be written as 1 upon e raised to y and further cross multiplication will give us e raised to 2y minus 2x into e raised to y plus 1 is equal to 0. You can pause the video and check this calculation. Now this is a quadratic equation in e raised to y. Its root can be found using the formula minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So we say e raised to y is this. Further simplification will give us e raised to y is equal to x plus minus under root of x square minus 1. Note that under root of x square minus 1 exists only if mod x is greater than 1. And if mod x is greater than 1, then x minus under root of x square minus 1 is a negative value. Then we should discard e raised to y is equal to x minus under root of x square minus 1. Then we have e raised to y is equal to x plus under root of x square minus 1. 
देर फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन बट वाई इज कॉस एच इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स देर फोर वी फाइनली से कॉस एच इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस प्रूफ नाउ लेट एस सी एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री हियर वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट टेन एच इनवर्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू हाफ लॉग ऑफ वन प्लस एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स लेट एस सी इट्स प्रूफ हियर वी लेट वाई इज इक्वल टू टेन एच इनवर्स एक्स देन टेन एच वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स एक्सपोनशियल फॉर्म ऑफ टेन एच वाई इज ई रेस टू वाई माइनस ई रेस टू माइनस वाई अपॉन ई रेस टू वाई प्लस ई रेस टू माइनस वाई नेक्स्ट वी राइट ई रेस टू माइनस वाई एज वन बाय ई रेस टू वाई देन आफ्टर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइंग वी गेट ई रेस टू टू वाई माइनस वन अपॉन ई रेस टू वाई होल डिवाइड बाय ई रेस टू टू वाई प्लस वन अपॉन ई रेस टू वाई दैट ई रेस टू वाई फ्रॉम द न्यूमरेटर एंड ई रेस टू वाई फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर विल गेट कैंसिल वी विल लेफ्ट विद ई रेस टू टू वाई माइनस वन अपॉन ई रेस टू टू वाई प्लस वन एंड एक्स ऑन आर एच एस एज इट इज Now let us simplify this. I take this e raised to two y plus one on the other side. Then opening the bracket and rearranging, we get e raised to two y minus x into e raised to two y plus one plus x. After taking out e raised to two y common, we get e raised to two y one minus x is equal to one plus x. Now let's take this one minus x on the other side. So we get e raised to two y is equal to one plus x upon one minus x. Therefore, two y is equal to log of one plus x upon one minus x. So y is equal to half into log of one plus x upon one minus x. But y is tan h inverse of x. So we say tan h inverse of x is equal to half log of one plus x upon one minus x. Hence, this statement is proved. I hope guys you understood all the three statements proof. Now let us proceed for next example. Here we are asked to prove that cos h inverse of under root of one plus x square is equal to sin h inverse of x. So let us begin with the LHS. LHS is cos h inverse of under root of one plus x square. We let it as y. So under root of one plus x square is equal to cos h y. Taking square on both the sides, we get one plus x square is equal to cos h square y. Then we take this one on the other side, we get x square is equal to cos h square y minus one. Then by identity, cos h square y minus sin h square y is equal to one. We can write cos h square y minus one as sin h square y. Then x will be equal to sin h y. Taking this sin h on the other side. We get y is equal to sin h inverse of x, but y is cos h inverse of root of one plus x square. So finally, we proved that cos h inverse of under root of one plus x square is equal to sin h inverse of x. I hope, guys, you understood this proof. Now let us go ahead with next and the last example. Here. We are asked to separate into real and imaginary parts of cos inverse of 3i by 4. Let us see its solution. We first let cos inverse of 3i by 4 as x plus i y. So x is real part of cos inverse of 3i by 4, and y is its imaginary part. Taking cos on the other side, we get 3i by 4 is equal to cos of x plus i y. Now let us expand cos of x plus i y. Cos of x plus i y is cos x into cos h y minus i into sin x into sin h y. This is separation of cos of x plus i y into real and imaginary parts. Here I have used the relation between circular and hyperbolic functions. In my last video, we have seen this separation. Link of that video is given in the description box. Now let us compare both the sides for real and imaginary parts. So we get on the LHS a real part is zero, whereas here real part is cos x into cos h y. So we get cos x into cos h y is equal to zero. And on the other side, here imaginary part is three by four, and 
here imaginary part is minus sin x into sin h y. So minus sin x into sin h y is 3 by 4. Let's solve this. So here I can say cos x is equal to 0 or cos h y is equal to 0. Cos h y is equal to 0 is an impossible case because exponential form of cos h y is e raised to y plus e raised to minus y upon 2 which is never equal to 0. So here we can get only cos x is equal to 0. When cos x is equal to 0, x has to be equal to pi by 2. Now let us substitute x is equal to pi by 2 in this equation. So we get minus sin pi by 2 that is minus 1 into sin h y is equal to 3 by 4. Therefore we get sin h y is equal to minus 3 by 4. So y is equal to sin h inverse of minus 3 by 4. And we know that sin h inverse of x is defined as log of x plus under root of x square plus 1. We have studied this statement in example number 1. You can pause the video and go to example number 1 and you can check this. So let us use this statement to find out value of y is equal to sin h inverse of minus 3 by 4. Sin h inverse of minus 3 by 4 is given by log of minus 3 by 4 plus under root of minus 3 by 4 square that is 9 by 16 plus 1. You can solve this using calculator and write the answer. So here we get x is equal to pi by 2 as a real part of cos inverse of 3, 3 i by 4 and y is equal to log of minus 3 by 4 plus under root 1 plus 9 by 16 as imaginary part of cos inverse of 3 i by 4. I hope guys you understood this separation of real and imaginary parts of this complex number. With this example, I am going to stop here. In my next video, I will discuss how to find logarithm of complex numbers. Till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.